we have we have toyed with the idea, and this first album we did, you know, this post Tolkien lineup, we did this Polaris album, and that was like produced. It was like mixed by Mikko Carmilla, and then production was done sort of by everybody, you know, like and, and it was, you know, an experiment when we made it to see if we could come up with an album, like, and we could. Uh, and I think we've talked about it, but every time we talk about it, I think Matthias also likes to have the control. I think he would actually go, like, if, if there was a producer saying, like, no, I want to put the guitar down, or I want to put the vocals up or something, he would go, like, no, but it should be this way. Like, I think by now he's comfortable enough doing it that he might get really annoyed with somebody else telling him how it should be mixed. Like, but I don't know. But, I mean, it's, it's still a possibility. Uh, it's also a lot of work, and I sometimes fear that we are not compensating Matthias enough for the work, but I know he enjoys having the control. I don't know. I think a band is like, it's also a little bit like a hockey team, or uh, at least our band is a little bit like that, hockey team or, or football team. Uh, it's been around so long that there's no way that there could not have been any lineup changes. It's just like, it's just too, too long. It's like band was started in 1984 or something. And that's like, fuck, fuck it's almost like 40 years soon. <coughs> at least it's 30 years. Like. Um, <coughs> so, I don't know. I think uh, it's, I haven't even thought about it that way, but I think it's just inevitable. And the, uh, the band is like somehow so far been strong enough to sort of survive even though we have had lineup changes. And I think um, now, I think everybody that we have now, it's been good. Like, it's been like a net benefit. And also sometimes before you know that you have a benefit, this lineup change, like, for instance, like, like when we got Lauri in the band, when Tolki fired the previous player called Yari, like, of course, then we didn't realize that we, like three years later, we would have to have somebody or somebody would be useful that could also write songs, because Tolkien was writing everything. But then Lowry was in the band, and he was like, yeah, a bunch of songs, and you're like, very proactive with the writing. And the songs were written, of course, in different places on planet, you know, like airplanes or whatever, like some, somebody has an idea, or they have like a laptop or something. So it's nothing to do with the environment. And when you talk about the actual recording, <coughs> the only guy who had like nice environment was uh, Timo the singer, because he was doing his vocals in this cottage uh, in the countryside. So he could go jogging and you know, like stuff like that during the day. But then still, when you have to work, you have to go into this like, sound isolated room, dark and with computer screen. So it's like, it's not like you have this possibility to sing outside in the forest or something. Like that. It would be kind of cool, but when you are from there, like we are, you sort of get used to it. You take it for granted. You just like, it's just another fucking lake, you know, fucking forest. Like, What's the...